what's good youtube so we are finally back with another video and today instead of running away from monsters trying to kill you all the time okay i saw oh my god <laughs> i decided well why not just react to something today um i know some of you have brought to my attention um stuff like reacting to analog horror and stuff like that I, i'm down to do that so and i stumbled upon this video this video is called the kid and the camera and it's a short horror film if you have anything else you want me to react to leave it down in the comments bro and we can get on that so um if you are new here consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video it really helps out a lot get comfortable hey hey this is only a seven minute video so it's probably gonna be a short one um i got my little pillow here so you know <laughs> and this person's channel is grumbled ink entertainment that's a crazy profile pic too what in the world <laughs> so in the description it says a young boy named kaylin i think i said that right with a broken camera is visited by a sleep fairy called the sips need ah okay but he's never heard of a sleep fairy enjoy oh no i feel like this is not gonna be good all right hopefully i got everything up and ready to go volume is good all right let's start oh okay i feel like i feel like a kid again watching um what's that show okay i'll shut up y'all i'll shut up all right focus focus once upon a star there lived a boy named kaylin kaylin yeah i said it right he was a happy little tot of six years old, and on his birthday, he received a very special gift. Oh! His very own photo camera. Awesome! Kalen loved the camera, so much that he took it out every day, snapping photos of anything he could. A picture here, a picture hey. there, until one day... Go to school for uh, photography. Oh no, he tripped. Oh, and it broke. And the camera broke. Nah, bro. If huh, if I would have got a new camera on Christmas and broke it the next day after, dude. Huh, let's just say it wouldn't be pleasant. Kalen didn't sleep a wink. Haunted by thoughts of his once perfect camera. Dark up in there. Ooh. That was when a sudden sound caught his attention. Okay, I'm starting to get chills. Boy, I would have, dude, if I would have heard a knock on my window that late at night, dude, I would have passed out. I'm not even joking. What in the world? Okay, he got his camera. Heck no, imagine that. No. And there stood on the other side of Kalen's bedroom window. <sighs> what is that, dude? I'm telling you, I'm waking everybody up in the house. I'm screaming. <laughs> dude, stay away. A large winged creature. Hello there, young lad, greeted the creature. I'm the Kipsneed. Kipsneed. Your sleep fairy. Sleep fairy? Heck no. That is correct, replied the Kipsneed. My job is to make sure you get a good night's sleep. But it's come to my attention that you haven't been resting at all lately. I'd like to know the reason why. Kalen had never heard of a sleep fairy. My parents told me not to talk to strangers strangers hey hey that's right hey his parents were right dude people in this world are crazy okay so do not talk to strangers bro if you're a little kid do not i repeat do not do it i'm no stranger i know all the girls and boys around the globe i don't believe I know it their parents their homes their names why i even know your name kayla would a stranger know your name? Kalen thought I would have said, through. sucker, if you know all that, you should know, know about my camera over here. If you must know why I'm awake, it's my camera. It's broken. And just like that, tears welled up in Kalen's eyes. Let me see. 
Bro, he looks so creepy. I don't know about this dude. Then the Gibsonese had an idea. Why don't I get this camera fixed for you? Perhaps that would help you sleep easier. You could do that? Of course, and I know just the place. A factory in my homeworld. I'll lead you to the portal. Just follow my voice. No, that does not sound good. The night. Don't tell me he's going to leave the house. Kalen <laughs> followed Dude. close behind the Kipsney. They're going straight into the Snapping dark forest. Away in case of getting lost. Okay, I got chills. Okay, that's creepy. Dude, where are your lights? Kalen reached a house. Oh no! Dude, I would have booked it back to the house! It's quite abandoned, thought the boy. And dark, but there was the Kip's Needs voice again, beckoning. The portal to my home world's inside, come along. Oh. What was that? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I heard something back there. That's why he was looking back there. What was that? Surely it was just an animal, right? I must have my camera fixed. So, in spite of his obvious fright. And he went. Kalen marched into the home. He went in there. Oh no. This is not. This does not feel right. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> no! 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 Are you serious? This does not look like a magical portal at all! Oh no! I would have said cut some light on at least. Oh no. Oh no. Some weeks later, authorities discovered the basement. Where is the rest of his body at? Dude, I just had chills the whole time, bro. I'm still stuck on his feet. Is he buried or is he, or is his whole body gone? I can't tell. Hey, this is a great video to teach, you know, people coming up in the world, bro. Everybody is not your friend, okay? Don't talk to strangers, bro. I'm still speechless. <laughs> the rest of the boy was never found. The rest of him was never found? What do you mean? What? The That's insane. That's insane. Dude, 
dude, I give this animated short a 10 out of 10. That was absolutely insane, dude. And I bet the parents, they probably still think he's in his bed sleep. But no, he's gone forever. And the only thing they got is his feet. Oh my gosh. What are people saying in the comments? Let's see here. Absolutely amazing. Oh, Baddington. I know Baddington. Absolutely amazing. Needs more views. I loved every second. I was so distracted by how cute and innocent it looked that I forgot it was a horror film, making the horror aspects that much stronger. Yes, definitely. A small detail I love is that when the killer used the sleep fairy, the sky slash puppet thing, it said that they knew the kid's name and that they haven't been sleeping, meaning that they have been stalking them for a while which is just scary as heck to me. Oh, I never noticed that. The fact that the perpetrator is a human and not a cartoonish monster like I was expecting is more disturbing and scary because it's realistic. Uh, this sort of stuff unfortunately happens on a daily. Yeah, that's true, man. That's true. All right, y'all. I hope you all enjoyed that. This was a short video and I am glad that I did this. <laughs> Again, I hope you all enjoyed. And if you are new here, consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. It really helps out a lot. And um, if there's anything else you want me to react to, leave it down in the comments below. I'm also thinking about doing some more analog horror. Um, well, I haven't done any analog horror, actually. I did play a game, though, so go check that out. It's very interesting. I was thinking maybe um, I have heard about the Sonic analog horror. Maybe I'll check that out. I know there's like a, a Godzilla analog horror. That sounds interesting. But yeah, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.